Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these large colorful Hichol style earrings. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free content like this and you will be inspired often with new projects. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And a lot of work goes here in these videos so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. More for the membership perks you could see in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 7 colors of 11 all seed beads. White, yellow, orange, red, light blue, dark blue and brown. And here I'm using earring findings, sliver bags. You could use others of your choice. This is Nyman nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use also 11 or 12 if you want. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle, but probably I will add more thread later. And I'll be back. I will stick my needle in my mat and here guys what I want to do is to make a knot and how I make it I make here a loop I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot as well Then in my next step, what I want to do is go through two of those beautiful white beads. And then I will skip the white bead that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, now what I want to do is push this bead a little bit to the outside. and then pull and now you see I have something like an angle here then I'm going to skip the next white bit and I'm going to repeat the same thing pushing the bit to the outside and forming an angle then again skip one and go through the following push it to the outside and pull then one more time skip one and go through the following and push it okay here for tutorial purposes I'm using black thread just to be visible enough if you want you could use clear thread not to be seen at all Okay, now I'm going in the following bead that is sticking out. Then what I need are five yellow beads. Okay, five of them. And I skip the next one and go in the following. Okay, then five. Skip one and go through the following. Five again. Go in the one that is sticking out the most. And the last five from this row. Then I go through these two yellow beads. Okay. 
and I take an yellow, an orange and an yellow. Skip the central one and go through the following. Then I take one yellow, three orange and one yellow and I go through this yellow which is next to the one that is sticking out the most or the second yellow counting from the center. Yellow, orange, yellow. Skip the central one that is sticking out the most and go through the following. yellow three orange and yellow and go in the second yellow counting from the white center yellow orange yellow skip the central one that is sticking out and go through the following yellow three orange yellow go in the second yellow counting from the white center yellow orange yellow skip the central one and go through the following yellow three orange and yellow and go in the second yellow counting from the center again okay now I have this and in my next step guys I want to reach one of the orange beads and I'm going to take seven red beads okay here they are my seven and as I'm exiting from this orange, I want to connect it to the next orange that is sticking out. I have here seven again. And I'm going in the next orange. and seven and go in the next orange that is sticking out the most okay guys and now off camera i will continue this until the end and i'll be back when i'm up to here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last seven beads from this row and now what i want to do is go here through three beads just like this then I'm not going through the next bead which is the central one but I go through the following tree and through the orange at the inner angle so now when I pull I have this beautiful angle here then I go in the following red and I need a brown, a blue and a brown and I'm going back in circle through those beads like this then I'm going through the following three beads then I skip here the center and go through the next tree and through the orange after that okay and I take a brown a blue and a brown and I'm going backwards through those beads then I go through the following three beads 
I skip here the central one. Oops, I went through one bit more. Now I should have gone through two beads after this loop here, okay? Then I skip the next one that's on my way, the central of the seven beads that I added. You see here I have one, two, three beads, one, two, three beads, and this is the central one. And by the way, don't worry that your workbench at this stage will fix it later. It will lay perfectly straight at the end. Okay, then I exit out of this red one. And I need a brown, a blue and a brown. And I'm going backwards here through those beads. And by the way, now my thread is almost over. Uh, it's too small to continue and finish this row. That is why I'm going to cut it and add a new thread. How I do this, I make here a loop. And I go twice through the loop I've made. And I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction. And I cut it. Okay. Now I'm going to put a new thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay. And now I have a new longer thread on my needle. And what I'm going to do is to add it here. And how I do this. I go through one of my beads. The same way, uh, holding my tr new thread with my thumb, I make a loop here between those beads. Go twice through this loop I've made. And then I pull. Then I go through the following two beads, guys. Again, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through all of those beads in this direction. And I pull. And then I might also want to cut this tail thread here. And you could uh, burn it with a zipper after that, if still a thread is showing at the end of your work. Okay, then I go through the following red bead. I take a brown, a blue and a brown. And I go back in circle like I did before all the time. Okay. Then again, what I want to do is pop out this center and add these three at the angles and I'll do this off camera and you'll see at the end how everything straightens up after this row. Okay, I'll do this and meet you. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads. And if it's not perfectly straight yet, the next row will make it stay straight. Now what I want to do is exit through one of those beads that are sticking out the most, the red ones. And I'm taking a brown bead and two blue beads. And I go here in the central blue one. Then two blue beads and a brown. And go here in this red. A brown and two blue beads. Go in this blue. Then the other way around, two blue beads and one brown. 
always put the next the blue beads next to the blue if you wonder which step is coming a brown and two blue and the blue beads are next to the blue two blue and a brown bead and again the blue beads are next to the blue and the brown one is next to the red okay now i will continue this and i'll be back okay guys and now i take two blue beads and a brown one and i go through this red one just like this okay then in my next row guys i want to add only blue beads and in order to do this i want to exit here after this blue bead i take five blue beads and i go in the next blue beads then i go in the following two blue beads take five blue beads again and go in all of the next five beads then five go in all of the next five okay guys and i'm going to continue this adding five beads everywhere at each step and i'll meet you here if you forget how i'm doing this just rewind the video and see these first three steps and repeat them until the end okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last five beads from this row and i also went through the next three beads and now i'm exiting out of the angle beat and i will go through the next beat after the angle and i'm going to add a brown a dark blue and a brown and i'm exiting through the beat which is before the angle and through the beat at the angle as well then i want to go through all of those beads in this direction all of those four beads then what i do guys is that i skip this angle bead here and i'm aiming for the next angle then i go through the following blue i take a brown a dark blue and a brown and i go back like this In my next step, I'm going through four beads in this direction. Skipping the angle bead, not going through it. And then go through all of those beads exiting out of the angle. And I pull then i go through the following light blue bead and i take a brown a dark blue and a brown then 
go back through all of those beads and I'm going to repeat these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm adding here my last beads from this row then again I go through four beads to form an angle and through all of those beads here okay you see the last angle formed And what I want to do now, guys, is exit out of this bead that is sticking out the most, this one here. Then I take a brown and two dark blue beads. And I go in the dark blue. Then the other way around, two dark blue and a brown. I'm alternating these steps and I always want my dark blue beads to be next to the dark blue now two dark blue and a brown a brown and two dark blue Again, two dark blue and a brown. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last beads from this row. Two dark blue and a brown. Now what I want to do is exit through all of those blue beads and I need seven dark blue beads, seven of them and I'm going in the next blue bead, the next dark blue bead and if you can go through all of the five beads here. Okay, take seven again. Go through all of those seven. Okay, and I will continue this until the end, adding seven beads and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads. Now I'm exiting out of this angle bead and I want to go in the next bead. And I want to take a brown, a white and a brown. And as I'm exiting through the bead after the angle, I'm going here through the bead before the angle and through the angle bead again back in circle. And I pull. Okay. Now I'm going. in this direction through five beads I skip the one that's on my way and I go through five more beads plus the angle the angle beat okay 
and when I pull and push this bead to the outside I have this then I go in the next blue bead a brown, a white and a brown and I go back in circle through those beads like this go through five blue beads skip the one that's on my way and then go through five beads plus the angle one so six beads in total and when i pull i have another angle here go in the next blue a brown a white and a brown and go back like this and then through all of those beads all of those five beads skip the next next one that's on my way and i'm doing the same thing aiming for the angle okay now i'm going to continue this guys until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row absolutely the same way now i'm going again through five beads in this direction and I skip here the central one to form an angle and go in the next beads aiming for the angle okay and this row is ready now I want to go through all of those beads aiming for the angle then I'm going just one bead after the angle. I take a brown bead and three white beads and I go through this white. And maybe you guess what is coming up next. Three whites and a brown. The other way around. Okay. And then I go through the one that is sticking out and through the following a brown and three white beads and three white beads and a brown and go through this dark blue which is before the angle that is sticking out the most. okay then through the angle and through the following okay and i'm going to continue this until the end one brown three white beads three white beads one brown i want my white beads to be next to the white okay and i will continue this and i'll be back okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last beads from this row again three whites and a brown and what i want to do is go in this direction and exit through the first white bead here and i need a yellow an orange a red an orange and a yellow and I'm going in the last white one and through as many beads as I can in this direction. This is what I have now. Then I'm aiming again for the first white bead that's on my way. Here. 
here is the brown and the white after that and I need again the same sequence yellow orange red orange yellow go in the last white and through some beads in this direction as well I'm aiming for the first white bead the same sequence of five beads and I'm aiming I'm going through the last white and aiming for the next white okay now guys I will continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding okay and here I am guys where I'm adding my last sequence of five beads like I did before and the only thing that I need to do next guys is to exit out of this dark blue bead and I want to add my earring finding and I'm adding a dark blue, an earring finding and a dark blue and I'm going back in circle through this blue bead that I have here the blue that is sticking out the most now I want to do a reinforcement and I want to go here at the angle if it's difficult use your pliers and here I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I make it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from and I pull and then I want to go through some beads in this direction and after that guys I'm cutting my thread as close as possible to my work and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my large colorful hichol style earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming absolutely free tutorials thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the link to the membership you could see in description and at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.